toast, buddy. Now, I'll, I'll defend myself a little bit. Now, earlier you said that, you, what you were trying to say, that I condone child abuse. Could, could you just do me a favor and be a little bit more specific about what I condone? And that, then I'll direct you to a channel on my video, a, a video on my channel that will tell you that you're a liar. But I want you to finish that statement where you said I condoned this behavior. Go ahead, finish. You did. To this day, you still claim that the kids were fine. Well, I don't know if you actually it sounds like you're twisting the story uh, to be a no, little bit more I specific and out of my own mouth. I would like to actually tell you what I believe out of my own mouth. And I hope it went out. I, I, I looked at her sons. I looked at them both. They're healthy. In some ways, they're doing better than me. They got a better phone than me. That's for sure. They got better toys than I do. And when I say toys, I mean like electronical equipment. They have better clothing than I, than I do. They're doing way better than me. But if you listen to the testimony, like Vaughn Hilton's kids, for example, everybody keeps talking about how bad Vaughn Hilton's kids are doing. But if you actually have ever done a private call with Vaughn, you know that Vaughn's house looks better than a lot of y'all houses. Our nation, they're abusing the system. They're lying to CPS and saying that these kids are being abused. And I'm a witness and will gladly testify in a court of law and say that, 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 that those two aren't doing nothing bad to those kids. I'm walking around with a phone that's five years old and these kids are walking around with a phone that's seriously super duper up to date. Them kids are doing pretty good. Yeah, man, that's what brothers do. The kids are happy, they're happy, I'm happy, the world's happy, right? and only the reaction community is not happy. I'm very happy. No. The atheist community are presently, the atheist community and unfortunately some people in the theist community um, are making a positive claim that Shani and Revelation News are child abusers. I was with Shani and Rev today. And you want to know something? Shani and Rev ain't abusing nobody. I was at Shani's house when CPS came there. None of you can claim that. I can. I was there when CPS came there. And comes. The bottom line is this, ladies and gents. They have no argument that they're child abusers. There is no argument that they can make. There is no evidence that Shani for Christ and Revelation News are abusing their children. But there is evidence of people lying about them. I will allow you to be a member of this YouTube channel and you can you will be allowed to continue to join StreamYard if you can um provide me evidence that Shani for Christ and Revelation News have have abused their children. Where's your proof? Have you seen the videos? Can I may I please see them if you don't mind? No, I'm asking you, have you seen them already? I, I've seen the videos of a dirty house. Dirty houses don't make you a child abuser. So urine on your bed and poop out of his hand? Sir, 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 listen to me. A dirty house doesn't mean that you're a child abuser. It just means you're a filthy person, okay? Show me child abuse. That's what you guys are making the claim of. Where is the proof? Or do you not know what child abuse is? So the reason, the, the, the evidence that I have is when they were driving from wherever they were to wherever they are, because uh, I'm not dock dropping anybody, uh, they, there was a point where Rev, it actually turns around and tells the young man to shut up. Do you remember that? Well, he, he said more than that. Yeah, he did, absolutely. So do you, do, do you believe in verbal abuse? Well, I believe in verbal abuse, but that wasn't so, child abuse. Okay, so you think verbally talking to your kids however you want isn't child abuse. You think that that doesn't have a lasting effect on them. You're telling me that. Okay, two things. Number one, I don't care about what happened to you as a kid, and number two, that's not child abuse. We're Wait a minute. When did we abuse. say? When did we say anything happened to me as a kid? Don't again, you just said? You just said don't make ad homs. You just said don't make ad hominems. You just said don't make ad hominems. Again, sir. Making them. Again, sir. Where is your evidence of child abuse? The Revelation News got mad because they thought something happened to the cat. In fact, the three of us was just laughing about that. I don't know about an hour ago. Um, yeah. So he got frustrated and he said, if something happens to the cat, I'm, you know, I'm going to kill you or whatever. But he didn't mean that. But he didn't mean that. They have a lot of games to play with. They're very uh, happy children. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Shani for Christ and Revelation News are good parents. Um, the atheist community, they got a video. They don't like the fact that they didn't sweep them off their house and the house was clean. One of their kids uh, has some bowel movement problems or something like that. And then they, they, they want to come to the conclusion that um that Shani and Rev are bad parents. If you are referring to when um when Rev was kicking uh who was it, Zachary or whatever, I said on multiple occasions that when he went to jail, that's where he needed to be. Because what he did was wrong. That's number one. Number two, when I was physically at the house when she was making spaghetti, which was absolutely delicious, I strongly recommend you get that recipe from her. 
But um, when she was making that spaghetti, when I went over there and we was doing the watermelon and chicken, the thing that you guys got so offended by or whatever, those kids were eating just fine. And since I was physically there and you was not, you're operating on rumors and gossip and I'm working on factual information. Explain to me why CPS took the children for being underweight. You're gonna have time for an well, what yeah. I want you to do with me is to be a little bit more specific about what you mean by that. And that's something that you guys fail to do. Y'all just be general when y'all say everything. Be specific when you say that those kids were being starved and they wasn't eating on all this other stuff and whatnot. When I myself took them food shopping, bought them food myself, you know what I mean? Filled the refrigerator up, filled the cabinets up, and watched them go shopping week? and everything. You did that every week? Because you know kids have to eat like every day, right? No, I didn't do it every week, but right, I right. would go there and I would almost go there on a daily basis and feed them. But but they was but they had their own money. They was buying food and I went there and I saw plenty of it. Yeah, I'll be okay. It'll be fast. You could have me on the phone if you want, because I, I can yeah. be with you and everything. They, they can hear me. I ain't gonna say anything bad. I'm just glad the boys are going to be fed. Yeah. Because that has bothered me massively. Shame. And they'll be in a, a, a nice air-conditioned place. Oh, probably like Trump style, you know, like real good. They deserve that. Silver linings, yeah. It's for the kids. Yeah, it's for their betterment because the food stamps have not been covering their diet. This is catastrophe level shit that your kids can't eat correct amounts of food, but the CPS has been great Thanks, and helped so, us out. But still, it's it's not enough ever. So they're going to be in a family that can support them. While we get our shit. Mm -hmm. Disability, part-time jobs, everything together so that we can take care of them again. That's it. All right, so you're saying that that's the only reason why they took the kids? No, 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 no. If you want all okay. of the reasons. So what okay, was you the want all other of the reasons? reasons? Oh, no, no. The other reasons is you guys kept calling for false, uh, under false pretenses. You see, I was there the day that you guys claimed that these children was eat, wasn't eating and CPS came in the house and saw them chowing down on chicken and watermelon and spaghetti and all this other stuff and whatnot. I was also there when you guys called them on some other false pretenses and everything and whatnot. We reached out. We've been reaching out to CPS for help for a while now guys no one called CPS we decided this as a family okay when Rev went on there and did what he did they gave me some options on what could happen on 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 what I would need to do in order because they was living under my roof obviously only you know that and everything that like I said CPS said if I did this this and this and this the kids could stay Okay, and I said no, I couldn't do it right away. So they took the children. So, the house so it wasn't was because of me; squalor? it was because Jason kicked those kids. That's so they why they're not it living in squalor. Squalor. Okay, so if you're asking me if it was a safe environment, the answer is yes. If you're asking me whether or not it was a clean environment, I do not know. I'm just being honest, and, it's, and since I know the information and I know the condition of the place and everything and whatnot, and I know what's really going on, and you don't. You know what I mean? That's why, this is why people need to come to me and stop listening to you ra reaction people. I don't know what y'all talking about. The bottom line is at the end of the day is that the, the, the condition of the house, both inside and out, was good. But we're going to be going back into uh, our great friend here. We got the scripture. I got my scripture back out. Yeah, I had it packed because I, I don't know. We might be out of here is really quick. Uh... Now my scripture here. Yeah, I had it packed because I, I don't know. We might be out of here is really quick. <coughs> is it possible to grab her? The bottom line is at the end of the day. But wait, there's more. Oh, um, because the electricity is in my name and the water is in my name. I owe 900, I owe almost 900,000 commodities for the water and electricity. And I told them, I said on the, on the, either the 17th or the 18th, EPL was gonna come out there and cut the water off and the electricity off, because they simply cannot afford to keep paying for that. And I didn't pay for it. I didn't pay for it last month, I'm not paying for it this month. Mm -hmm. They know what I owe, yet they still want to stay there. We already know what's gonna happen with all of that. Because I'm not paying. 
See, another thing that you guys don't understand is, and if you don't know where I'm at, I'm just going to tell you. You know, if I'm doing this, I'm up to something. So I suggest you think and you think good, long and hard. I'm over here in Scranton, PA right now. Okay? I, no I would give you a tour of the rest of the place, but a lot of you already think you know something, but you don't. What I need to do is paint these ugly rooms if I ever get some time. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, guys, if you talk about me, make sure you do it properly, all right? Later. We already know what's going to happen with all of this. Because I'm at pain. Fucking idiot!